Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Leo. Now this will be for the 11th to the 17th of October 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It is not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid and energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Here we go. One more shuffle. Okay, Leo. Mm, nope, way too many. bottom of the deck you've got the two of pentacles um there's a situation where you might have multiple options you're juggling um trying to decide what option you want to go with what choice you want to go with it's also about um needing to bring balance and fun into your life could be working too hard. It could be something simple like just, you know, between family and work. Like maybe, and I don't mean simple, but I mean maybe it's just that choice. Or it could be between multiple people. Um, or should I stay or should I go? That kind of choice. But we will find out more um, with whatever's on the table. But you are looking at your life from a long-term view. Um I feel like you need to just be patient. Trust your intuition because the moon's there. So I feel like trust your intuition. And it's all about making a... While you make the choice about what what to do next for the long term, um, which I guess is why you're making the decision, there's something you need to decide that will affect your life long term. Okay. <clears throat> so... We have the, on the table, we have the chariot. That's the first card. Now, the chariot is about you having choices. It can also be about you succeeding, but you need to put in the, the work, you know, take the action, be determined to succeed. Um, it can also be about you successfully balancing many priorities at once. It's about having determination. It's about willpower. Um, as I said, you will get the rewards, but it's about you really needing to put the hard work in to get the rewards. So while you figure out what it is you want long term, I feel like make the choice. And as I said, it's got to do with choices with the chariot, but it's also about you needing to put in the work. I hope I make, I'm hope I'm making sense. We'll get some more information. But yeah, you're definitely balancing priorities. And as I said, you've definitely got choices to make. Yeah, you need to make a plan and have patience. Because whatever work you put in now, you are going to be like, you're waiting for your harvest. You, you plant the seeds, you wait for it to grow. You know, it's all about waiting for the, the next move. You know, waiting for your plans to bear fruit. Um, and I feel like this has been after some sort of heartbreak that you've had. Um, so now it's like, Okay, well, I've had heartbreak, so now I need to think about what I want for the rest of my life. Um, I need to have a plan and have patience while I decide, and here I am deciding. I feel like the obstacles and challenges are, all, are over now. Um, it can also be about, though, you having a lot of inner conflict. Maybe you didn't actually express to somebody how you feel or how it made you feel. Um... For some reason today, I feel like I'm having trouble explaining what it is I want to say. And I'm not sure why. And it's only been with Leo. Aries was fine. Um, but yeah, like here you are too with the two of wands. Like you're impatient. You've got some inner conflict. You don't have a plan. You fear the unknown, but you don't know 
where to go. So that's why you need to make the plan. Okay, so tell me more. Yeah, like somebody left you out in the cold. There was some sort of ending and now you're just, you know, you're feeling exhausted. You're feeling burnt out. You know, you're feeling like you're stuck. You're having this this period of deep contemplation, like what should I do? You know, there was this ending of some kind from this person that left me or a situation that left me out in the cold. Like, look at the picture. They're like in the cold. And, you know, here you are just resting and needing to rest because you just feel exhausted. And as I said, this is after some sort of heartbreak. So you, you thought this situation was going to give you your Ten of Pentacles. You thought this situation was going to be the be all end all, but it didn't turn out that way. So now you're having to make choices about what you want to do long term based on now you're not with the same person or in the same situation. Right. Um, you're kind of so focused though on this one situation. You're focused on what they did. You're focused on what happened to you. Now what? You know, you're so focused on these cups here that you're missing the other opportunity that's over here. That's, you know, it's, it's a magical opportunity, but you're missing it. You know, um, you're discontent in your own life and bored, you know, but also, as I said, you're missing the point. Like this obviously was not for your highest good or you, you're you missing the point that this happened for a reason. As I said, there were some obstacles. Um, it could also be you need to take back your own power. Um, you thought you were going to get old with this person. You're looking back, you know, having the nostalgia. Um... But, yeah, I feel like, you know, there were definitely obstacles, like I keep saying. And maybe you got some clouded judgment about this situation because you thought you were going to get old with this person. But you're feeling like you're trapped. You're not. Release all those limiting beliefs. Be open to a new perspective. Any negative thoughts, release those too because they're not needed. This person could have been like you thought your Knight of Cups, your Prince Charming, but it turned out to be a liar, a fraud, somebody that wasn't like that at all. And you got the Page of Pentacles. Like, learn from whatever hasn't worked for you. You know, there was no progress made in this. I also feel like you need to work on manifesting what it is that you want for your life. You've got the Eight of Wands, so there's no communication with you and this person probably at the moment or very limited. It could also be not a healthy kind of communication. This could have been... You know, somebody who was very um, defensive and, and, you know, called your names and, you know, that kind of situation rather than a healthy kind of communication. But here you are resisting this inevitable end with the 10. Um, it can also be about you recovering from a situation. Like, I don't feel like it made you feel very happy that this situation ended. Um, I feel like somebody, if they, they could have had an addiction of some kind, but it could even be that this person didn't, for some of you, this could be a very specific message, but somebody maybe didn't want to give up an addiction, um, or you didn't see that they had some sort of addiction. Um, you're not really open to anything else right now either, but I feel like this situation didn't, like the end of this situation didn't bring you happiness. Because, as I said, you thought you were going to get old with this person. But it's for your highest good. you got the chariot in reverse. You have a lack of direction. As I said, it's like, okay, this situation's over. Now what? I don't know what to do with my life. Like, as I said, you, you're, kind of, you're kind of making choices about what to do. You know? You don't know what to do. You're kind of lost. You're feeling like you're left out in the cold. You, you're heartbroken. It's like, now what? Yeah, you feel like you've just got no hope. You feel like you're down, you know, but just you thought this person was going to be your be all end all. Like I said, you know, you thought you were kindred spirits. You thought you were going to be together forever. You thought this person was your person. Um, so right now you're going through this emotional loss, you know, but there was no firm foundation, but you kept resisting this. And I feel like, you know, 
if you trusted your intuition, you would have known that. I also feel like you didn't stand your ground and this situation left you feeling discontent, bored, stuck. Like it didn't actually fulfill you or the other person. Somebody wasn't feeling that way. Could be you or your other person, like I said. Um, but somebody, I feel like you, if it was the other person left you, it was like you were trying to resist this inevitable end. But I feel like, as I said, you feel like you were left out in the cold by this person. They could have been emotionally manipulative. They could have been violent, crafty, moody. Um, they didn't give you your wishes fulfilled. And all they did was break your heart. But you've got the lovers and you've got the lovers. As I said, you really thought this person was somebody that, you know, you could have been sexually attracted to this person. Um, you could have seen them as your be-all, end-all. Like, your person. You thought you both had the same values and same morals and same expectations and you know i feel like that's come up a lot like this it was to show me because both of you got lovers card twice like this was to tell me that you really honestly thought this person was it and you're too focused on that you're too focused on the fact that you know you really honestly thought this person was that and that makes it harder to walk away from because you honestly saw this person as your person then we've got the seven i mean someone had choices and i mean i feel like either you've got a lot of choices to make or someone else's got a lot of choices to make they could have also had commitment issues um wishful thinking there could have been wishful thinking like oh you know this person bored me and didn't fulfill me but oh you know i know that they're my person because you know i'm so sexually attracted to them so you know the wishful thinking oh they, they are going to be my person you know even though i'm not satisfied and bored you know oh they must be my person because that's what you you hope for you know um you need to get some clarity on what you desire move forward as I said, somebody could have had addictions. The addictions has come up twice. So somebody could have had addictions. Maybe they need to make a choice between their addiction and you. It could have been that. Or you need to make that choice between them and your addiction. Um, but somebody could have just had... I mean, they broke your heart. So... Okay, somebody's worried about what other people think. They could have also been, you're very obsessed with the he did this, she did this kind of situation. As I said, there's probably no communication. Um, somebody with the six could have been giving to other people. You need to now look after yourself. Um, yeah, look, nurture yourself. You might even have kids or be pregnant by this person. Um, but yeah, I feel like you do need to speak your truth, stand up for yourself and walk away. Even though you don't want to walk away, just remember there is no firm foundation and you need to work on your self-worth. I feel like take some time by yourself. You feel like you've withdrawn emotionally. Yeah, look, four of cups, like I keep saying, this situation didn't fulfill you. You felt unfulfilled, bored, um, stuck, discontent, dissatisfied, depressed, but you're resisting the change. Why? Like, what is there that's keeping you there? If this is how you feel, what is keeping you there? You know, I know you thought this person was your person, but what made you think that? Is it because you had that wishful thinking? Is it because you thought... Uh, you know, I really, I really want the person to be this kind of person. But when you think about it and you have the time apart, they're not. You know, you need to do some self-healing for sure with the temperance card in reverse. This is about self-healing. This, this situation probably had no stability. It was probably that somebody wasn't very flexible. Somebody was immature. Um, there could have been an excess of something, as I said, with this whole addiction thing. Um, and you've also got the judgment in reverse. Like, I feel like you, you don't want to make that final decision. You know what I mean? You don't want to say goodbye to this person. 
You're doubting yourself. I feel like it could have been a lot about sex as well, like passion and um, like you might have had great sex. Is it more that that you missed? More so than the situation that left you feeling unfulfilled and bored? Look, first card. Free yourself. There's really nothing more to say. You do need to love yourself, though. Work on your self-worth, like I said. You don't really have an open mind. Like, you're so stuck on this person being your person that you're not even looking or open to anyone else. But I'm telling you this person is not because the person that is your person wouldn't leave you feeling unfulfilled and bored, you know? So maybe you need to get out there and talk to other people. Yeah, there is no communication or very limited, or not of a good kind of communication, like I said. Okay, Wisdom of the Oracle card. Look, Chaos and Conflict, in reverse. Thirty-three. This is about restoring order and recognizing the opportunity for negotiation. There is a time of there is a kind of divine order, a complete resorting of elements. This is powerful. If your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all, there is positive news. The timing is perfect. Things are already stirred up, so don't be afraid to jump into the mix. You'll discover everything you need to know about how the situation affects you long term. Like I said, be present in the eye of the chaos. This moment is valuable. Don't waste it. So I feel like the chaos and conflict is going to be over. Which is a really good thing. Okay, let's get a Shaman Oracle card. You've definitely had some sort of destruction. Like, I feel like that's with the relationship or situation that you've been in. Um, you, <coughs> you're not really open to new paths, so you're afraid of what's out there. That's what I'm hearing. And I also feel like Yeah, I feel like you're, oh, look, the journey, look, you definitely are. You're definitely afraid of what's out there and, and different paths. And, you know, it's like getting out of your comfort zone. This is something new and that's what you're afraid of. You're afraid of being alone and having to put yourself back out there and sort of experience the world after you've had this destruction, like I said, something that broke your heart. I just want to read this one. Dancer of Inspiration. Clarity. Turning the corner. Winning. Creative strength. Appreciation bothers. Striking out a fresh territory. As I said to you, like... You are going to put yourself out there. You are going to experience new things. You are going to get out of your comfort zone. And I feel like it's going to teach you a lot. But you've got to put yourself out there, which is, you know, you're afraid to after this person broke your heart. But I feel like you don't want to reconcile. This person doesn't want to reconcile. There's a lot of wishful thinking going on, but... The judgment card's in reverse, so I don't feel like there's a chance of reconciliation. Which is probably a good thing, to be honest. 
yeah, you're getting some clarity, truth, revelation, you know, and taking back your own power. And then you'll be happy, you know, you'll be full of joy and, and you're going to get out and, enjoy, and experience life again. Um, you need to work on your lack of trust and maybe go and heal your root chakra. Maybe do a guided meditation or wear red crystal. Go and spend some time in nature, that kind of thing. Work on your money if you need to as well. Maybe you are afraid because you have lack of money or, you know, it's affected your everyday things. But I feel like this in this situation, it didn't affect your everyday things. Like it didn't affect your money, your safety, your shelter, your food. Like you, you'll always have somewhere to go. Um... Yeah, this person wasn't your person. But I feel like definitely getting some clarity, which will, which will be good. Um, but, yeah, anyway, that is what I have for you, Leo. I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.